to my channel. My name's Auckland. If you're new here, this is my booktube. If you like bookish videos, you should consider subscribing. Um, today's video is going to be a reading vlog for After by Tana, by Tana Todd, by Anna Todd. <laughs> this is a One Direction slash Harry Styles fanfic that originated on Wattpad. It has a lot of controversy and a lot of people love it and a lot of people hate it. So if you're curious to see my thoughts and my reactions, then keep watching and enjoy. Look what came in the mail. <laughs> I'm really scared to read this because I put a poll on my Instagram saying like, do you love this series or do you hate this series with a passion? And it was evenly split. I think like 54% said they love it. And people were damning me being like, that's toxic. Don't read it. But you guys, that's literally why I'm reading it. I know it's going to be toxic. That's what I'm here for. So yeah, it could be a good thing. This could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. This could be a really bad thing. I could end up hating this <laughs> or I could end up loving it. I think honestly, there's no good outcome that can come from this. Look how pretty it is. I mean, come on. It just looks so pretty. It's a Harry Styles fanfic or One Direction, whatever. We're gonna dive in head first. I'm gonna take out the first book. Smell check, smells really good. Obviously it's a new book. I bought them new because it was actually cheaper to buy them new. It was like $40 total with tax and shipping and everything. I'm scared. Okay, um, I think I had such low expectations that, I mean, I'm only on page 54. Chapter 16. I had such low expectations that I, I immediately thought that it was gonna be like really bad starting off, but I like it so far. If I didn't already know that like this relationship was gonna be really toxic, I would totally be like all over Harden right now because yeah, right now he's just kind of like broody and like a little rude to her. So I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but right now I'm vibing with it. Like I don't have any issues. She's definitely like, you know, not like other girls. Not surprising. I was kind of expecting that. Like whenever they were gonna go to the party and she was just like, oh, I shouldn't have come. I just want to be in my pajamas and curled up with a novel <laughs> I'm like okay same but go go to a party like you you're, you're in college you didn't go to college to like stay in your dorm room the whole time also like the fact that she on her first day of college you know met this like British guy she's living every college girl's dream so <laughs> There's that. So I tabbed one thing that when they were in class and he's, they're talking about Pride and Prejudice and he's talking about Mr. Darcy and he says, a man who is rude and intolerable being made into a romance hero, it's ridiculous. If Elizabeth had any sense, she would have told him to fuck off from the beginning. <laughs> it's like, okay, some foreshadowing there, maybe. I'm honestly really liking it so far. I mean, I wouldn't say I'm like loving it. I'm only 54 pages in, but I was just expecting to initially be like turned off, but I'm really not. Also, I don't think Harden, I almost said Harry. I don't think Har Harden could get any more sarcastic. Like, ugh. I'm living for it. Um, good morning. Today I will be spending my day with Tessa and Harden. I don't really have much plans today other than to read. I have this big ass jug of water. This is probably the best purchase that I've made. I'm always having to refill my water bottle and literally will never have to. This thing is so big. It'll definitely keep me hydrated. I'm gonna read after and oh, I didn't really read anything else last night. I think I stopped on page 55 or something. I was really tired. I went to bed at 10.30. I never do that. That's like super early for me and I kept waking up in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna read after and I don't know how much I'll get through today, but 
I'm excited. This girl has an obsession with buses. <laughs> She's always like trying to take a bus everywhere, which I get because she doesn't have a car. Okay, so he's like comforting her right now because she was in that room with that creepy guy and he's being really sweet. He's like, don't cry, Tess. Oh my God, okay. This boy is so dramatic. <laughs> so she like tells him to stop kissing her and then he's like, I don't want anyone to hear about this either, so stop talking about it. And she's like, oh, now you're back to your old self. He's like, I was never anyone else. Don't think because you kissed me basically against my will, we have some sort of bond now. <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. Pardon? You are... Stop. Basically against his will. <clears throat> I cannot. Not her mom showing up while she's in college. Like showing up to her dorm. What is she doing? Her mom is crazy. <laughs> Harden's like, I'm not hiding in the closet, you're 18. Oh my God, I keep forgetting she has a boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, she literally said it like right after she kissed him. She like mentioned it and I was like, oh yeah. And then just now her mom's like, poor Noah was worried sick. I'm like, who's Noah? Oh, <laughs> we don't care about him. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. This book is, things are written so weird. I'm not even gonna go into it. So I'm not surprised, but I'm disappointed because she hung out with her mom and her boyfriend all day shopping and she didn't tell um, Noah. I, I feel kind of bad now. Well, I, I don't feel kind of bad. I feel really bad for Noah. Like he has no idea that she's totally like cheating on him and hiding it from him. Girl, what are you doing? Man, this relationship is starting out on such a good foot. She's cheating on her boyfriend with Harden. They're having fights in front of everyone in the class about, they're like projecting their thoughts about Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> oh my God. Like they're already physical with each other. They're already like verbally abusive kind of. Well, not, not excessively, but they're definitely just like so toxic. <laughs> like, Girl, switch classes, find another Harry Styles <laughs> to marry. <laughs> um, but I can't say that I'm not living for this right now because it is becoming exactly what I wanted. Like super, super entertaining. It's like a train wreck and I cannot look away from this shit right now. I mean, I it's, it's not even like getting that juicy, but it's just like building up, you know? <laughs> Like, she's like, grab my arm again and I'll slap you. Yeah, y'all really don't need to be in a relationship, but I'll read about it. Okay, so I'm on page 132, chapter 28. And basically like her and Harden agreed to be friends. And then they basically go on a date they go to like this river and then he touches her in some type of way and then she's like fascinated by him and they end up like stop talking because she's like oh i'm gonna break up with my boyfriend because i don't want to cheat on him and then harden's like don't break up with your boyfriend for me like i don't want to date you or whatever and then she gets feelings hurt so now they're not talking but then like her boyfriend she calls her boyfriend to come over, Noah, 
and because she doesn't want to like tempt herself to go to this party, I guess. And so he like comes over and they're like cuddling and then Harden shows up. I'm just like, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't know. I'm enjoying it, but I'm also just like, can you just break up with him already? Because this is so unnecessary. You're just like dragging this poor boy along. He's like driving to you when he already has a busy life, but he was like dropping everything that he has going on to go see you. What are you doing? And Hardin is obviously jealous. Like he obviously wants to be with her. Okay, so I'm on page 153 now. And basically she was hanging out with Noah. And then Landon, is that his name? Yeah. Landon calls her and he's like, come help. Like it's Hardin. He's like losing his shit. So then she leaves Noah, takes Noah's car to go to Harden to like help him. And he's basically upset that like his dad is gonna be marrying this woman, um, Landon's mom. So he like breaks all her china and like gets wasted. So they're like talking and stuff and he's like, can we just be friends? And they're going back to the like, let's just be friends. And she's like, we literally cannot be friends. Are you insane? And then, um, so he convinces her to stay. So now they're going back to his room. And that's where I'm, uh, I'm going to continue reading. I'm on chapter 32. Oh, and he tells her at the end of ch uh, chapter 30, he tells her, you make me want to be good for you. I want to be good for you, Tess. He wants to be good for her. Like, I am a sucker for this right now. I'm falling for it. <laughs> I know it's not a healthy relationship, but like, he wants to be good for her. <laughs> Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Okay, so I am still reading, but I took a little phone break. And look at this. Harden. Like, look at, hold on, look at, look, look, tell me that's not Harden Scott, okay? You can't, you literally can't, because it's him. I keep thinking that she's going to tell Noah, and then she doesn't. But Harden Joe showed up. Oh my god. I mean, she's a horrible person, but this book is still very entertaining. But like, I hope it blows up in her face. Oh my god. Please let it be the moment. Okay, so I'm on page 236. Why is this book so entertaining? I don't want to put it down. God, Tessa annoys me. I think at this point I like Harden more than I like Tessa because the fact that like she's such a liar. Harden obviously is very flawed and is like manipulative. But like Tessa, oh my God, she's such a freaking liar. And like she lies to herself. She lies to her boyfriend. Cute shit keeps happening that I'm like, oh, that's so cute though. Whenever they were like, out eating with their friends and her burger arrives and it has ketchup on it and like Harden notices and he's like she ordered a burger without ketchup and she he gets the waitress to return it I was like I mean like how can you be mad at that I don't know it was a little rude but there was a quote that I tabbed on page 177 it says 
I'm a moth to his flame and he never hesitates to burn me. So right now they're at Hardin's dad's house eating dinner and whenever like she met Hardin's dad and he invited her over for dinner and she, and Hardin obviously didn't want to go and he said no and then she was like no, no no I'll go. I was like wow I do not like you Tessa because there's obviously a strained relationship there and like I know what that is like to have a strained relationship or just like no relationship with your birth parents and the fact that like he tells her like I don't know I just feel like she she's a little snake for that because it was so selfish not that not that he hasn't been selfish too but you know what I mean it was just it was so icky when she did that and like was like well I, I'm going anyways it's like that's so weird and she is justifying it by being like, oh, well, I'm friends with Landon or whatever. Bitch, come on. Like, that's so... Just stop. So they're there now. And something just happened. She finds out that his dad is chancellor of the college that she goes to. And um, they're all, like, shocked that he never told her. Which I'm like, this is so dumb. And then, like, he gets mad and, like, storms out. So that's where I've stopped. Honestly, everybody in this book is just toxic, but I'm living for it. Like, I don't know. It's just, I guess, a very addicting. There's also not really any plot going on. Like, I'm like, I don't know what the plot is. The plot is just the back and forth of their, like, fights, I guess. Having the same fights over and over again. <laughs> Having the same discussion. I don't know. Oh, and whenever... I guess he was like drunk, waiting by the door. Um, I had like a ugly love flashback in the beginning of Ugly Love. No spoiler for that, but in the beginning of Ugly Love, you know, Miles is like sitting. Anyway, it just like took me back and I was like, oh my God. But like he's like sitting there and then she comes out and she's like hardened. And then uh, it says a huge grin slides over his face. Teresa, he says, and begins to stand. And then he like spills something and then he's like, sorry for the spill, he says, and rolls his eyes at the blonde. She huffs and storms into her room, slamming her door. And then he's like, why can't I come in, Tessa? I'll be nice to your grandpa. <laughs> he's talking about Noah. I don't know. He's funny. I think he's funny. On page 214, when um, he's asking her to like sleep in the same bed with him. And she obviously like doesn't want to. But then he puts a pillow in between them. <laughs> And then he's like, there, now you can sleep safe and secure. I don't know. Like, the, all the situations seem to be, like, very unhealthy. But then a cute thing will be, like, thrown in. And then I'm like, oh, why am I like this? So, yeah, I kind of, like, hate myself for kind of loving this book right now. But I don't know. Stop judging me. <laughs> I'm not even halfway through, so I need to shut up. But, like... It's probably gonna get so much worse or so much better. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna keep reading. Okay, bye. <laughs> Page 252. I've already had my dessert. I'm not gonna give any context for that. Stop. 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 I cannot take this book seriously. <laughs> I just got to page 328. I'm so flabbergasted by this book, you guys. Okay. So there's a few things I want to talk about. Let's just talk about my tabs really quick. So on page 267, Hardin like deleted the text messages from Noah to uh, Tessa. And she's like, oh, how can you delete the text messages from my boyfriend? I'm like, wait, is he your boyfriend? Stop. Anyway, so she ends up going to this party that Hardin like doesn't tell her about, which he's so shitty for this. And the reason he doesn't invite her is because he's like, well, you would have not come anyway. You would have been reading or studying and watching paint dry. I'm like, you're such an asshole. So anyway, they're playing truth or dare because that's what they do. 
and she kisses Zed, this hot guy. I love that for her. And then he gets Darcy. No, <laughs> why did I just say Darcy? He gets uh, Molly, right? That's her name? So he gets Molly to kiss him and then she like, uh, Tessa just like breaks down in tears and runs away. Pretty understandable. However, okay, so this is a whole situation. I don't even have words. And then like how she runs out to get in the car cause Landon's picking her up and then he runs out and he's like, I love you. Is this real life? No, it's not real life. Thank God. What's happening? Okay. Yeah. This feels like a reality TV show. Like I'm actually watching someone's life fall apart day by day by being in this relationship. And I think that's what's getting me. This book, it's giving me what I came here for. So I'm really not upset at it. It's really entertaining. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I almost forgot to talk about this part. Whenever he's like, oh, you thought that we were dating. You thought you were my girlfriend. Harden. Okay. You a manipulative motherfucker. But again, I can't be mad because like I'm doing this to myself. It's really, really entertaining. Okay, something is really wrong with me because I feel like I just got done ranting about how I don't take them seriously. And then as soon as he shows up at the dinner, I was like, yes. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I feel like I'm secretly rooting for them. I just don't want to like admit it. So I'm just going to get it out now and admit it that I'm rooting for them. Okay, so I'm on page 362. There are just a few things I need to talk about. One of them is I think there's something going on with Zed. Seems like there's like something we don't know that Harden knows that we don't know, obviously, because when Harden was like asking her if they were dating, he was like, you don't know him or whatever like you don't know and like sh he got cut off and i'm like was he gonna say something about zed well for one like zed wh what kind of name is that but that's besides the point okay and then the other thing i want to talk about is if it's mentioned one more time that she's not like other girls <laughs> it's been mentioned like four or five times now explicitly that like you're not like other girls. This is the fourth time I've seen it, I think. That's like, Zed was telling her, um, I'm really glad we're getting to know each other. You're different from the rest of the girls here. I'm like, okay, we get it. She's not like other girls. And then on page 362, she's like, the tables have turned or whatever this is has shifted. I'm usually the one running from him. Cause she's like trying to like get him to come with her or whatever. And I'm like, oh yeah, same here. I feel like the tables with me and this book have turned quite a bit. Like it started out good, I was like, I'm feeling it. And then it was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Like, I don't know. And now I'm back to wanting them to be, get, be together. That's where I'm at right now. I can't explain it. So I got to one part on page 455 that I'm like, are we sure this is a Harry Styles fanfic and not a Jake Gyllenhaal fanfic? Because <laughs> on page 455, she's like upset that he didn't call her his girlfriend in front of like that group of friends or whatever, if they're even considered friends. And they're like, he's like basically gaslighting her. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. It's like all too well, but in a book. Also something really funny happened. So I was messaging my friend Jasmine on Instagram. She was like, I have to know how you're liking it. <laughs> all I responded with was I'm in too deep. Cause I literally like don't have words for the book right now. All I, I was just like, I'm in too deep. And then not even five minutes after I sent her that message, I was reading and on page 458, I come across this sentence. Well, it's, if it's even considered a sentence, it says, I'm in too deep. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. So yeah, I highlighted it. 
because I felt like I was having a moment, you know, with the book. <laughs> that I've gotten that out of the way. Okay. Antiheroes in general are going to be the death of me. Because I'm like, oh, maybe they have some redeeming qualities other than like making me feel bad for them. And then they do something, and I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> anyway, that little breakdown, um, here, let me, is in regards to chapter 84. I'm just, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna keep reading, okay? Further proof that this is a Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, however the hell you say his name, fanfic. Look at this. Look at this. Page 503. Hold on. Sorry, I'm not. Okay. Page 503. I can get focus. It says, I look, but whenever I look over at him in his dark I can't speak. But when I look over at him in his dark mood, I remember all too well. When was this written? Because... This is not Harry Styles. This is Jake. And I'm not saying Tessa's Taylor Swift because like... Taylor Swift would be way more mature. Anyway. <laughs> Page 505 now. Well, I just finished page 504. Uh, chapter 88. I'm gonna start. Did I picture myself reading this book in one day? No. But sometimes reality is different than your plans. So this is like fucking with my head. Okay, I'm gonna keep reading and maybe I'll finish it tonight. I have like 80 pages left, so. Okay, so I'm really close to finishing. I'm on page 557. The last time I came on here, I didn't do a very good job, like, summarizing everything that I had read. Basically, she got hired as an intern and, like, um, reading manuscripts, and they moved in together. So those, those are, like, two of the big things. Um, and right now, they're at the wedding of his dad and his stepmom. And, like, we met his grandma, which is sketchy. Like, there's something weird going on with his grandma. But, okay, so when they were moving into the apartment and she saw the bed sheets that, like, had her blood on it or whatever that he never got rid of, I was like, what? That was weird. Anyway, um, that's, like, a random thing that I wanted to mention because I just thought that was so weird. I was like, Harden, are you okay? What? What? Why did you not get rid of those? Another thing I want to talk about is Tessa's mom. I cannot stand this woman. When Hardin stood up to her and was like, you need to get the fuck out of our apartment. Uh, I loved him for that. I was like, okay, thank you Hardin because Tessa is blind to this woman. She's so toxic. Oh my God, she's insane. Uh, okay, so anyway, let's talk about the page I'm currently on. So, Anna Todd has to be a Vampire Diaries fan. All of the songs that she's referencing are major Vampire Diaries songs. So like, The Fray, Never Say Never, are you kidding me? That's a Vampire Diaries song, which I love. I'm not complaining. That has to be what she's doing, because now she just mentioned Never Let Me Go by Florence and the Machine. Never let me go, never let me go. That's another one, like, come on. These are iconic Vampire Diary songs. You can never say never. Iconic. Gotta wrap the Vampire Diaries. So yeah, they're at the wedding right now and I'm almost done. 
page 557 there's like 580 pages so I'm gonna finish it and I'm like sad to finish this book because it's so good like I didn't oh god it's so good okay I'm not okay right now I'm on page 573 and like some shit is about to go down Harden is obviously hiding something he didn't tell them that she that they were living together in their new apartment he told his friends that she moved into a new dorm so they're like all talking and they're about to leave and molly after she found out they're they're living together she's like you're really taking this whole thing a little far aren't you what is she talking about okay so i'm gonna read it <laughs> and i'm so i'm so nervous <laughs> I didn't know it, but like the sheets, that's why they were still in his car. <coughs> oh my God, I can't breathe. I've just been sitting here like did that just really happen so now I know why Colleen Hoover loves this book because <laughs> I feel like it's something she would have written which I love Colleen Hoover this is like all kinds of fucked up okay if you haven't read it and you're watching this for spoilers basically we found out that Arden made a bet with his friends that he could take her virginity and that's why he kept the bed sheets to show his friends the bed sheets. He also kept the fucking condom to show his friends. Are you kidding me? And then he tries to tell her that he was like fell in love with her. Now take this with a grain of salt because I'm a cancer through and through and I have a soft spot for things that I should not have a soft spot for. 110, 500, and a thousand percent. That makes zero sense, but you know what I'm saying? I, I loved this book. Like, don't get me wrong, I know it's toxic. I need to go to bed. So I'm gonna go to bed and then I'll come back in the morning and talk about my overall thoughts. Look at all this tabbing. <laughs> like. That's a lot. And I didn't even tab the last few pages because I was just like. Okay, I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm so excited. I'm in the right room. How did you even get in here? Okay. Can you please go out into the hall so I can get dressed? Don't flatter yourself. I'm not looking at that.
You could draw me to fire. You could draw me to water. You once asked who I love most in this world. Not me crying right now. Okay, so yeah, I just finished the movie and I did really actually enjoy it. I really liked it. It definitely has its flaws. It's a little cringy at times. The acting is not perfect, but I don't know. I still really enjoyed it. I thought it was cute and I did cry. As far as the book goes, I think my overall thoughts are that it is extremely toxic. Like the relationship, obviously, I don't even need to say it. Like everybody already knows. And I think there's a lot of problematic issues with it, like, you know, slut shaming and things like that. Just like things that don't sit well. However, I am a hopeless romantic and I really loved it. And do I recommend it? I don't know. I think like it's, it has cheating in it and a lot of people, I mean, I don't like reading about cheating. I didn't like that part of it. I didn't enjoy how toxic things were. However, like, I don't know, I just really liked the characters, um, even though some of them are just like not very likable. I really enjoyed it. I don't feel like I need to justify the fact that I enjoyed this book. I just know that a lot of people dislike it, but to each their own, and I enjoyed it. So I will definitely be reading After We Collided, which is the second book, and watching the movie for that and after we fell and watching the movie for that. So let me know if you enjoyed this and if you want me to do a vlog for each of them, I can. Um, at this point, I'm not really planning on it. So I have this blanket on right now because I was just like cold, but um, that's why I look like <laughs> this. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below if you enjoyed the series or if you didn't. Like, I'm not gonna be, I literally don't care if people don't love the books that I enjoy. So, I mean, not that I don't care, but you know what I mean. Uh, it doesn't offend me. So if you made it this far, you can leave a little heartbreak emoji because I feel like this book was quite heartbreaking in different ways, so. Yeah, and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.